hey, hey, what it do, baby? Hey guys, thank you for liking, subscribing, watching. Thank you for going to Facebook and joining the Vegeta Saiyan Army Facebook group. Uh, today I want to talk about the, um, everyone's talking about a boonie and Bibidi might be getting hit. And, um, again, I don't think a boonie should get banned just because I feel like there's ways to play around it. But if you disagree, I totally get it. Like, if you think a boonie should get banned, like... I, I, one thing I see a lot is when people disagree in this game, not all the time. It's actually most of the time we're a pretty good community, but sometimes when people disagree, they'll get like really hostile and and that's not cool. Especially when it's something so cl like like Obuni isn't like Storm or Gogeta 7 that is so busted. So, but it's a lot low. I think it's fair at 4 mana. But I totally get, like, if you wanted to get banned, I, I see where you're coming from. Because I've played a boonie, I've, I own them, I've used it. Like, I've been, I've had people use a boonie on me, so I get it. I mean, I usually have answers for it, but... Bibbidi, on the other hand, like, if you're defending Bibbidi... Again, I get it, like, you probably pay, play Vegex. A lot of things I hear about Bibbidi, like, people that defend Bibbidi, are like, if you take out Bibbidi, then Vegex is dead. But in my opinion, if your deck needs one super combo to be good, then your deck might be bad. And in my opinion, if you take out Babity, Vegex is still a good deck. Um, the new Vegeta super combo for Black is actually really good. And also, let's say they ban Babity, right? Which they probably are. Next set, they're probably going to reveal like a promo or like some Saiyans that like are Vegex targets. Or like they're going to release some like if this card gets milled. And your leader is a black saiyan Ve vegex play it for free like they're, they're gonna probably give it support but it can't be like like jordan marco just now winning with like four babies by the way great job he's such a good player like it but bro like that's such a crazy um so if i i think bbd should get hit because it warps a certain part of the game which is the combo phase the combo phase is like one of the three sacred it's the energy the combo and the battlefield right so like some colors are slightly better like yellow usually has better combo and red is better at dealing life and like blue like will ramp an extra card here and there but it's never like like beauty completely changes the rule on the combo step to the point where like one of it will be like 50,000 combos sometimes like it's just like ridiculous and that's why i think beauty it's just like should be illegal <laughs> so um as far as and that's just my thoughts if you disagree that's totally fine tell me why you disagree and i probably know some of the things you're gonna say and they're good points actually on both sides this ban list isn't easy yeah baby has some things that you can do against it like you can play the bardock unison and hit baby but there's also like the foo that loops it back to hand so, I mean, it's just kind of dumb. You're playing, the way Vegex plays is just like, let's just get all the babies back to hand and then wait till they're at two life and then shotgun. You know, like, it's just kind of kind of dumb. So today I'm just going to talk about, so I just wanted to say that quickly. Just my opinion, but my opinion doesn't matter because it, it doesn't matter. And, and we all think differently and that's okay. But if you disagree or agree, tell me why. But I do want to talk about a boonie and how to play around it or how i've been playing around it um because i do think it's busted but in my opinion like if you're gonna ban a boonie you also have to ban the cooler unison because a boonie like yeah a boonie creates three tokens cooler creates four cooler doesn't untap and it's not 20k i get that but you can ramp with android 6 like what's stopping me from playing green majin vegeta charging a blue green and then turn two playing android 16 and then turn three meta cooler so you can turn three meta cooler tap four swing with meta cooler right create one token with the activate main swing with it and then minus four and make three tokens that's one more token than a boonie also meta cooler creates a token every turn if you want to just leave it on board and vegeta on taps two so you can actually have like a good curve with it and then do the minus four whenever you're ready for it. I mean, I, I think it's the best. Like, obviously, a boonie has the effect to like untap one, and you know he um, what's it called? He has deflect. But this is a unison. Unison has barrier and deflect in a way, right? Um. So yeah. So the boonie again, 20k deflect. It creates three tokens. You guys know that they're 15k, 0k combo. 
0k, 5k combo, and that's really good, obviously. I'm not saying a boonie is not good or not bad. It's amazing, I get it, but I just feel like there's every color has staples that can go around it. Um, Baby is like an infinite combo, like super combo, and I just think that's too busted, right? So, some of the cards that I think deal with it, right? I think one of the most under... No, no, no. I think the most underplayed card in the game is Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan. I main this in... My, I, I have it at three in my deck because I'm an idiot. I should have it at four. It hits Hachiak. It hits Green Frieza. It hits it hits Vagex. It hits Obuni. So the best blue decks in the game play Obuni. So it hits blue, right? It hits like Green Frieza. And you know what the thing about blue is? Blue isn't going to get rid of Dark Power, Black Mass Sain. Like, yeah, it hits green, but green has removal. So Frieza can, like, get rid of Dark Power, Black Mass Sain. But blue kind of doesn't, because blue is so busy on getting Zeno turn, like, two to three. Like, like, blue needs the nuts. Not the nuts, exactly, but you have to have Zeno. Like, you have to have a setup for the Obuni to be perfect. Um, and... It, the removal isn't really there. Like, I, I know Samazu has, like, the whole blow up the energy and bottom deck a card. But still, I've... Sometimes, I just play two Dark Power Black Mass Saiyans. Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan make, makes it so, like, when they play a card that's 15k or less, or with a non-keyword skill, um, they have to drop uh, two cards and put them in the drop area. I always forget whether it's warp or drop. But yeah, they drop two. So, if they play Obuni and then play the three tokens, they have to drop six cards. That's crazy. I'll take the four life. You have no cards in hand. Like, um, Magicabora is a great answer that I feel like I was sideboarding it at first at two. I'm not anymore, but it is an answer with the flight that's two drop. You basically, if you play it, you can say a character's name and your opponent can't play it next turn. So if you're like a boony four drop, you have to say the, the, the energy cost and the character and they just can't play it. Magicapura is this dumb, like, it buys you a turn, it's really good, it's a relevant attacker, it's got the flex, so it's hitting the board. Um, protector of the people as well. You negate, it negates the attack, and then every time you're attacked, um, you get a 5k pump. So it kind of stops the turn, uh, a little bit cheaper than, like, what Topo would do. And, um, speaking of Topo, he's right here. Uh, one, okay, the reason I get around, I've gotten around Obuni with Black was Black Masayan with Red... I own the exploiting weakness. So like if I'm playing against blue and I know it's a good player, I'll just leave three up and be like, you can play, you can play it. And then counter play with Vegeta, exploiting weakness, or you can wait till they play it and then use Topo Righteous Aid and then go into Kaioken, Son Goku. Um, so Topo obviously is in the gate that stops the attacks for the turn. And Kaioken and Vegeta kind of like just wipe the board. And I understand if they have the unison, they can God Sealing Trunks it. But if you're a red leader, I mean, you should be swinging at their Unison the whole time. Because you should be getting rid of the Unisons anyway. And Zeno is so easy to get rid of because he's like, I think 4k, I think he is. And I don't know, Blue is so uh, worried about setting up for a boonie early on that it's just sometimes, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hard to keep that Zeno alive. Um, but if you do have a problem with um, God Sealing Trunks, you can use extra cards. Is that all you've got? You negate for one, you drop a card, and you uh, neg two cards by 15k, so two of the tokens. Um, obviously, Obuni has Deflect, so you can't hit him with anything. But you can target the auto that brings out the tokens, and you can use Beerus Ball. And Beerus Ball gives your leader a 5k pump for one energy for the rest of the turn. And if you target the tokens, they're all 15k or less. Um, so it targets them, right? So they're all going to get hit by that. Um, it's just like Crusher Ball. Like if you crush your Ball and auto, that brings out multiple cards. They all come in uh, rest mode. Um, for blue, Sensu Bean is, again, and these are like, I get not, not everybody plays is all you've got and Beerus Ball. Like they're not exactly staples, but I mean, you should adapt. If you feel like your locals has like three people that play a Boonie and you're a red player, like this is an option. Like... I would say beer spawn more than is that all you've got, but um, and these are just red staples that you should have, right? Um, for blue, Sensu Bean's a staple. Super Saiyan uh, Trunks got ceiling technique is a staple. Um, Sensu Bean, I mean, you're gonna make your like your leader 20k for the rest of the turn. Like that's gonna stop the tokens. Um, if you target the auto with with Trunks, 
if you're playing against Sin Shenron, for example, and they tap the six to bring out like all the dragons, you can use God Sealing Technique to just bounce them back all back to hand. I mean, they do kind of draw six in a way, I guess, but but I mean, it's a play, right? Um, if you use Sensibine and you uh, survive the turn, next turn, it's going to be your turn to go uh, with four energy. You can use Gotenks. You can attack two of them and then use the minus three to uh, grab two battle cards and bottom deck them, ignoring barrier. Um, that's an option. Uh, okay, so Dormant, Potential Unleash, and Desperate Measures. Desperate Measures does not work. It's just here as an example, right? Dormant Potential Unleashed does work, okay? So, um, English is my second language, and sometimes there's so many rule changes and counterplay windows and all that. I just ask a lot of questions. I ask my friends. I'm lucky enough to go to the same locals as Eddie St. Hilaire. So I literally ask him, like, five questions a day. I'm sorry, bro, but... <laughs> so I'm always asking him, hey, does this work or whatever? Like, I know I read the cards, but sometimes it's so... It's so detailed, and this is one of those that I don't blame you if you don't understand this ruling because this ruling is so weird and I'm going to go into it now. So Dormant Potential Unleashed is a counterattack. If your leader card is mono green, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total of two or less and KO them. So we know that. It doesn't negate the attack, but when you use it for one energy or for free if there's a unison, your opponent can only attack one more time for the rest of the turn, right? And that's actually really good against Obuni, but the effect of KOing battle cards that cost um, up to a total of two or less, according to the ruling, that actually gets rid of all of the tokens. Because apparently they don't have a cost, and anytime it says up to two or less, you can choose all the tokens. Desperate Measures, I'm just showing it as an example of a card that doesn't work because of the wording. Desperate Measures and Shocking Death Ball, for example, right? They say energy cost two or less. So if you see two or less or three or less, it doesn't work because it's actually targeting like um, like a, like an energy count, two or less. The Rome Potential Unleashed is asking for up to a total of two or less. So that's the wording. So anyway, if you use Storm Potential Unleashed, you KO all of the tokens, basically. Um, like this is really good. This is another answer to a boonie, I, I feel like. Um, Hidden Power of the Saiyans is really good. So if you, again, if you target the auto of the tokens being played, um, they have to choose whether they'd like to play the tokens or play them and drop six cards. And if you have Black, Dark Power, <laughs> Black Mass Saiyan, whatever, they're dropping 12, which is awesome, right? So they're not going to play the tokens. However, and and I'm not sure about this, so I'm not going to say anything. Obuni, okay, Hidden Power of the Saiyans says that your opponent gets to choose whether they play it or not. But that's if you're playing a battle card. Obuni plays the tokens, not you. So I wonder if you're forced to just drop six because Obuni plays the tokens, whether you like it or not. I don't know if there's a better player than me, which most of you are, with a better mind than I am, which most of you are, please let me know in the comment section. Does Hidden Power of the Saiyans force the Obuni player to play the tokens? And then um, you, they drop six, right? Um, obviously, if you target the tokens, right, on window one. Um, and also, I understand Obuni has deflect. However, I heard that if you use Hidden Power of the Saiyans, on Obuni, since it's not on the board yet, they have to choose to drop two because Obuni has the flex, so he has to get played. I know this sounds weird, but that's what I've been hearing on the uh, on the um, on the discussion group and all that. What I am certain of though is Hidden Power of the Saiyans. If you just use it on the tokens on Counter Window Two, it does target them, and that's this is one of the cards that I've been telling people that if they don't want to buy Ribrian, they should just get Hidden Power of the Saiyans because it's a really good card. Um, and again, if you're in yellow, so we talked about blue, we talked about red, we talked about green. Well, yellow gang, what's up with your boy? Like, how come you guys aren't? I've been playing because I'm testing SS4 a lot. And this is like such a good combo, and I'm not seeing you guys use it as much. You guys like the new Gotenks super combo, which I get, it's really good. 
But, okay. So let's say there's three tokens and one Obuni. You, they swing with Obuni, right? You out combo with Samasu, right? And you rest a token. And then you arrive on Bojack, and then you rest another token. And then that last token's gonna swing, and you're gonna block it with Bojack, because he's 20, and you're gonna out combo. Or Son Goku and Hit, who are like double blockers or dual attack so like on the crack like on, on the next turn you can like dual attack with them and get and just start getting rid of their tokens i feel like and i'm not you know what's funny sometimes the counter to something broken is like a bad deck that gets beat by everything else like like when storm was going around there was like a really bad ss3 deck that played like um the pilaf counter and it was like this this crazy deck built like a Frankenstein misfit of like toys that was good against uh, Storm, but against nothing else. This isn't the case. These are cards that I think are staples for yellow that are good against the Boonie. And I don't know if you guys are having that much problem with a Boonie. I'd like to see what your deck looks like because I'm I'm curious like what's going on. And I understand again that a Boonie is a great card. I might disagree with that. I just don't think. It's that crazy. Do you think that the cards I'm showing you are actual counters to a boonie? Or do you think they're not? Do you think I'm getting any of this wrong? Tell me in the comment section. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd like to learn off of that information. But I feel like yeah, every color is equipped against a boonie. I feel like a boonie's not that crazy. And if you're going to hit a boonie, you might as well hit cooler. Um, and another thing. If you really hate this. like, And I, I'm saying this because I hated Janemba. Not a... If you, if you play Janemba, it's nothing personal, not the player. I just didn't like the playstyle of Janemba myself. So, like, I mained Slug for, like, three months. And I topped, like, every tournament. Like, I mean, first place. Like, I was killing it with Slug. Just because so many people played Janemba. So, I just mained Slug, and I was clapping cheeks forever. So, I basically just, like, hate-picked the deck. <laughs> to going. So if you really do have a problem with with cards like Obuni, or you don't like maybe um, maybe Vegex is playing too many cards, Topo and Hatchek might be really good answers for you. Maybe maybe your hatred for a card like Obuni is just a control player in you, right? Maybe you're a really good control player, and you hearing people that saying, "Oh, Obuni's not that crazy," and you're and inside you're just like, "It is," and you don't get it. There's nothing, neither of you are wrong. You might be just a really good control player, and that's the way your head is made. Like, that's the way you operate. You know, I, I'm an aggro player, so maybe that's why when I see a boonie, I'm like, dude, this card's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, again, if you guys know Hachiak, Hachiak makes it so you can only attack once per turn, kind of, and Topo makes it so you can play only one battle card per turn. Obviously, there's rules here and there. Like, in Topo, you have to have that unison on board. Hachiak, if you play something that's like an eight drop you can or if you have dual attack you can work around it but these are great control decks um and again if you guys if you guys disagree with anything here let me know we can converse we can have a conversation about it do you think obuni really is as broken as gogeta 7 or as um or maybe as storm or as mecha frieza i don't think it is i think there's answers to that i think there weren't there was never an when i played mecha frieza I never played when I played against it I got my cheeks clapped like I got bodied I could never find an answer against SS3 besides playing SS3 I never found an answer against any other of those broken decks I feel like Obuni has answers if you disagree and I'm wrong that's cool let me know why I think I think Bibbidi is a problem though um and I think you should just get rid of it and if Vegex falls too hard well he had his time like what I mean there's nothing wrong with a deck being bad. Like, Pilaf is bad. They're not, you know, it happens. But Vegex has been really good for a long time. And you can always just give it support. But it's not okay to ruin the game for everybody else. Like, Bibbidi is just, like, really good. And don't get me wrong. Like, Vegex actually has... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Vegex has kind of a bad matchup against Vegito. Like, a good Vegito player sometimes. Samasu as well. Um, since Shenron. Like, there's good decks that can compete. Don't get me wrong. It's not, like, that broken. But I just think that... It's maybe a little too strong. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys th can you guys think of any more counters against maybe Bibbidi, maybe Obuni? What do you guys think it should get banned? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, going to the Facebook group, and joining. And I'll see you guys next time.